He's pissed. I'm going to put him down. I don't know if you've noticed, but my camera was here. It's it's now over there. I know. Big changes. Big changes. Uh, some things have happened. I don't know if you if you noticed this. It looks like Treyarch put out a tweet or a blog post or something that I don't care about. It has the whole community up in arms. I don't know if I clapped. Here's the clap. It has the whole community up in frickin' arms, okay? I'm not really sure why because this is stuff that either should have been in the mode or it's just kind of quality of life changes that are good i'm not saying that these things are not good to have but why are you acting like like treyarch just cured cancer gamer cancer <laughs> gamer i'm hilarious seriously okay okay and i i want to say another thing before i I, d I dig into this video because this is not meant to be a dig at these people i know they're they're utilizing youtube as a career they got to get videos out they got to get clicks they got to get people to come in but mr Raffle waffles was out of town or whatever in the mountains for like 600 years and then he comes back and his videos have been more clickbaity than ever and it's kind of disappointing because he was one of my favorite zombies youtubers maybe it's just Time has gone by and I haven't really noticed it as like it wasn't as clickbaity before or maybe it was clickbait. I, you know what I'm trying to say? Maybe it was as clickbaity as it was before, but it, and now I'm just noticing it. I don't know. But if you think about it, he probably went to stay at Mr. Dalek's house for a few months and then learned how to clickbait like he does. And now that's where all the ideas are coming from. He just posted a video along with Matters. Um talking about all these new things that are coming to multiplayer that they think are going to come to zombies. Now, I'm not saying that some of these things are going to come to zombies or they're not going to come to zombies. But what I am going to say is chill and lower your expectations. Do you remember what happened with Black Ops 4? Were you guys not there? Were you guys not there? We are talking about having a pinging system coming over to zombies now, a uh, customizable HUD, and we're talking about, what was the last thing? HUD, pinging, oh, and an FOV slider. I think the FOV slider coming to consoles is pretty cool. I'm down with that. Why would you need a pinging system in zombies? I, I can maybe see it for like, you know, where are you? Where are you? or where is something, or here is the KN57 wall by, or whatever, stuff like that. Mr. Raffle Waffles is talking about dropping your weapon on the ground and then pinging it for another player? What do you think we're sharing weapons? This isn't a battle royale. Again, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm overlooking a detail that I heard in, or didn't hear in the trailer. But what I'm trying to say is, what I'm trying to get at is, these features are cool. I want them. I. I think that sounds great. I would love to customize my HUD. I would like to make it a little more minimalistic. That's my style, as you can see my non-minimalistic background behind me. I like a little more simplicity when my with my HUDs and on my screen. Black Ops 4, it, it wasn't bad at launch, but then they made it bad with all the extra perkaholics and all the extra perks that you could put on screen. Then it got clunky. It was, it was, it was a mixed bag. I, I didn't totally hate it. I didn't love it. But we were told, we were told you guys, okay, that when Black Ops 4 came out, it was going to have more content than ever. And it did have a lot of content, but it was going to be a, a life force, just like multiplayer, just like Blackout, just like Warzone. It was going to have its own features, its own things, its own staples. We were going to get a ton of features from all these different game modes and all these different cool ideas were going to be coming into zombies it was going to revolutionize the mode and players were going to be ecstatic and it was going to blow the black ops 3 season away and everybody was pissed with all of the new changes now treyarch's talking about all these new changes and everyone's like yeah, we're gonna get all these new changes. oh my goodness i'm so excited where what are you talking about what are you talking about like seeing these videos pissed me off because you, you were you're lying you're lying Yes, it, it's exciting. Having a pinging system, having a FOV, having a HUD customization. I get it. When we had all these changes in different aspects, you were unhappy. And I, I understand that that's how things go. We change in one way. We're not, we don't like it. We change another way. We do like it. That's fine. That's fine. I'm all with it. But don't act like these changes 
are going to revolutionize the mode and bring you thousands and millions of views on your YouTube channel and thousands and millions of players coming into the mode and giving zombies a new lifeblood. I'm not saying that that won't happen, but I'm saying manage your freaking expectations or else the game mode's gonna suck when it comes out on launch because you're gonna have it all the way up to here. You're gonna be so excited. The game's gonna come out. You're gonna love it for like a week. And then we're gonna do the same freaking thing we did with Black Ops 4 or World War II. That's exactly what happened with me in World War II. I thought World War II was going to be amazing. I remember texting my girlfriend at the time. She was at a friend's house and she like left me alone to play Final Reich for the night. And she texted me, she's like, how is the new game? And I was like, it's the best game I've ever played. It's the best zombies mode I've ever played. That's li I literally said that. It was not, it still isn't. And again, for the 500th time, because I know people who aren't gonna watch the video all the way, so I don't really know why I'm even talking to you. You're gonna say that I'm roasting Mr. Raffle Waffles and I'm roasting matters. I'm not. I understand why they made the video. It's exciting stuff, but to act like this is going to change the game. I just, I think we gotta, we, we need to know better. We need to know better from our past and just look at this game for what it is. It's a new zombies mode. It's exciting. I'm hyped. I, I can't wait to see what D Machina is gonna offer. I can't wait to see the Vietnam map. I can't wait to see all the remakes and the remasters and all the crap they put in. I can't wait to see all these new systems and how they work and, and, and how they like blend in with one another. I'm excited for that, I really am. But all this clickbait nonsense about how this stuff is going to revolutionize the mode, it's just, it's just not accurate, it's not real. It's not. And you guys need to chill. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.